there, everyone. Welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalabro, and right now, we've got quite a few comments to go through, but we're finishing up Americans one and all. The time has come to break down the barriers between our new citizens and the old guard of the Enclave by accepting distinguished wastelanders into higher positions of government. We can improve our legitimacy as the rightful American government, if we so choose to do so, which apparently we are. Now, we'll talk about this in a little bit. Actually, reject ghouls. You get more, huh, more political power by doing that. I didn't realize that. Cool. Um... Up next, we definitely probably need to choose Operation Babylon, as well as go to the Common Man, just because I believe the Brotherhood is getting destroyed by the NCR, which is fine with us, and the Desert Rangers apparently also formed, but at this point, we definitely need to go to war with the y Yakuza territories, even though we do have quite a bit of political power here. Well, that's kind of nice, actually. But we're trying to build up more, um... Electrical stations. What do we call them? These things. Grids. More grids. Civilian power grids, duh. Duh, Mr. Mokalever, what are you thinking? I'm not thinking. But anyways, uh, like I said, we've got a lot of comp uh, political power. Got to a lot of comms to go through. Uh, we have 56% legitimacy already, which is actually pretty good. But in this episode, we're definitely going to have to invade the NCR. Uh, that being said, at this point, we might as well just go to war with these guys. If possible, my goal is at least get... Uh, I want a few more divisions of power armor out, just because we're going to need a pair drop into enemy victory points. That's going to probably be the biggest thing that we've got to do. So Goring will be super, super important. If, division per division, uh, they can't really beat us, even though we're missing a couple of things here. So I'm just going to deploy them already. Just go ahead and go on in there, guys. Even though you're not really that great, it'll be all right. It'll be okay. Um, we can do that one, but we can wait. The Bishop Incident unlocks the Bishop Incident decision for the Rangers. Uh, if you wonder about that one, please go ahead. But we're going to do this one probably. Yeah. But this is a decision that we want to have whenever we need it. The NCRs enjoyed fairly good relations with their eastern neighbors, the Desert Rangers. Still, a false flag attack combined with fake radio signals could get the two powers to believe the other has betrayed them. Very nice. And it looks like we might have just finished this one up here. Ah, very good. How much energy do we actually have right now? 86, that's actually very good as well. Um, let's see. Do we have... Yep, yep, looking pretty good. All these spaces here are core now. Wow. We have 61%. Legitimacy. Pretty nice. And, oh, I want to do purity. I really want to do purity. I, we're not being as ruthless as possible, so I think principle probably would be the better one for now. I think this would make a little bit more sense for a recon infiltration. Yeah. Yeah, since we're trying to reform the United States of America, not, uh, you know, enclave or born, I think ultimately that's probably the, the better way to go for now. Yeah, let's do that one. Cool. Uh, since we're here, might as well do that and get to some comments. Um, let's see. Someone says we don't need to focus nearly as much on manpower right now just because we had we have an extra province over here. Because this is a province that, as we saw last time, the NCR can trade a raid for Chester. Which is alright. It's fine, whatever. What It is what it is. Um, actually, what are they... What do they uh, you know, I'll just start attacking them right now. I don't care. Cool. Cool, so obviously they're... Tr mm, we're actually winning still. Not bad. Actually, not too, really not too bad at all. And we do have some planes we could use. Bing, bong, boom. Head on over there if you can. Help out as much as you possibly can, even though you've only, like, what, five gunships? No. Four gunships? Not great. There you go. Now you're doing... Not too bad. Not too shabby. That does give us some more army XP, even though I don't think we need too much of it right now, which is totally, totally okay. As long as it can't pierce us, we'll be okay. Alright, so we got Inspirational. We got the Pain Train. We need to get Savage Leader... Oh, uh, but your uh, field marshal traits are only sendable to field marshals. I guess technically his major general, but um, all right. Hmm, odd, very odd, but whatever. Cool. Actually, if you guys could go like right here, actually first instead, that'd be better. Just because you can cut them off. Yes, please. There you go. Cut these guys off from the capital, and we'll do fine. More than fine. Right now, since we did that, we're going to cut these guys down too. So we don't need nearly as much armor, because that's a, that's really bad. 11 divisions might be enough for us to pair drop into enemy uh, tiles and such, so. Well, there you go. They just basically killed themselves off, so goodbye. Very nice. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice. And head on into there, guys. Just go, go in there. Other comments, don't play Anderson. Right, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll probably, honestly, I'll probably play Anderson again sometime. Not exactly sure when, but I'm fairly certain I'll probably will play Anderson eventually again. Just because we can. That would be good. That would be good to do. Uh, Curb Wastelander Influence. Huh. 
Our rapid expansion has left a surprising amount of influence within our borders and the powers of the Wastelanders. Regardless of our opinion towards them, we could consider pulling some power back into our hands. Eh. I don't want to lose any legitimacy. That wouldn't be very good. Uh, we could do it too, because that's fine. I don't really care. Cool. The Bishop Incident. Just so we have that unlocked for whenever we do need that. This one, we need uh, connections in the NCR. It's currently 60. Uh, sure, why not? Sage Raider attacks. In order for us to say hit him, we must make sure that the NCR stays distracted with other enemies. By bribing nearby raiders into attacking the NCR border towns, we can ensure our obscurity for as long as it suits us. That sounds pretty nice. Nope. Don't even ask for that. Do not even ask. Well, since we have you anyways, we must just do this. Upgrade rid of some of their entrenchment. Oh, they actually beat up one of our guys there. Huh. Interesting. Weird. Okay. Well, whatever. Keep them in place. That'll be alright. And there they go. Very good. Just because I want their factories and we can start producing some of this stuff. Which actually means... Don't we have options for these guys? Yeah, we do. Preserve Japanese culture versus enforce American culture. We can court immediately, but we lose a lot of s s just workshops. Which is really easy to do, but honestly, I don't really see a point of doing that when we can keep the factories eventually... We can just make civilian power grids. And, uh, well, we get more manpower and political power, which doesn't really matter too much. It does make more sense for us to do this one, though. Preserve Japanese culture? Swear loyalty to us in exchange for autonomy. Mm -hmm. Even though we're still trying to reform America, Japanese culture is still not very American. Even though I don't want to lose factories, I'm still going to do this one. The Yakuza imitate a vanished Japan, but, they, but we know they're really Americans. They just need to be reminded. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, role-playing-wise, I, 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 we gotta go that way, so. Alright, not bad. Not great, but not bad. It is what it is. If that's the case, we're not even gonna do this one, then. Put these two down. We want more military factories down. So be it. So flippin' be it. Who dares wins? Very good. Awesome, awesome. Let's grab some more defense, because we're definitely gonna need that there. Oh, baby boy. Restore Naval Air Station Fallon? Sure. Sounds pretty good to us. What else can we do here? Reorganize remnants, fools, and dreamers. As expected, outside of volunteers, I guess we'll probably do that one eventually anyways. Less non-core manpower, more non-core manpower. Um, fools and Dreamers, we get 2% more. Uh, that will probably be pretty good to do as well. Uh, loyal Soldier, that would not be too bad to do. Oh, Archdona would be very nice as well. It's only 160. We do get Dr. Henry, Empress and Lynette. Now we have this guy, Joshua Morgan, for plus 50% political power gain. We do have RK Ganon, which gives us 20% political power gain for less consumer goods factories. Uh, do we really need that much political power? I honestly cannot remember if we need that much more. Also, there's a... I, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should do a quality PA team or qu qu quantity. Quality versus quantity. I, I want to adjust it right now just because when I looked at YouTube comments and I scrolled down uh, at the time of this recording, it just... The comments disappeared, so I couldn't exactly see what your comments were, but we'll get to that eventually. We'll get to that eventually. We do need to remove that one eventually, too. Um, but I, we'll deal with that later on. If we're not getting anything here. Yeah, why not? Seems pretty good. Captain of Industry, New Vegas. Hello. Oh, the Legion's already fighting New Vegas. All right. You know what? Screw up. Hit me harder. 1.88. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. So we're going to enforce American culture next, too. So. Other comments include change advisors when possible, like the Navy guy. I'm not sure which Navy guy we're talking about. Was it Russell Garnett? Samuel Gilbert? Or was it uh, this one? Canu Canuo? Naval research teams build battleships. Uh, I think there's a, some other naval guy here too. Compassionate doctor. Fortification industry. Arming raiders. Cool. I don't see another navy guy here, so. Chief of staff. Actually, this one wouldn't be too bad to do. We do need a lot more army XP as well, though. It has been suggested that we arm the raider factions bordering on the NCR. This encourages them to attack NCR border towns, drawing the attention from the bear away from us. We have no guns to spare for raiders, but plenty of bullets. Not bad. We could use more war support for more command power. Let us arm the raiders. As much as I want to do that, I don't want to lose legitimacy, so we got to do that one. Free hundred political power. Enforce American culture. I don't want to lose all those workshops. I really don't, but it is what it is. Cool. We're going to need a lot of PP for that, but that's okay. We're going to do that one, too. Political action. Close that up. Another comment. Oh, I did ask you guys yesterday what our intelligence agency name should be. And you guys came up with some good names, but I believe that we'll go for... Uh, what well, the first one I saw over there, because we can always call them the CIA, uh, NSA, FBI, but someone recommended the Tesla Security Agency, T the TSA, just because uh, we can, and obviously we're going to have to choose one of these two maybe eventually, or was it, 
yeah, we're gonna choose either one of these two. So I just decided to do that one just because that's a little different than CIA, NSA, and stuff like that. So up next, so this stuff is all done, which is nice. We can do stuff down here. We want to rebuild a nation eventually, but let's do Operation Babylon just in case. The NCR mocks pre-war America, claiming to stand for liberty and progress even it, as it's mired in corruption. By attacking its weak points, we can knock the whole thing over. Not bad. Other comments include... Uh, actually, apparently, I always have chosen the anti-communist path, apparently, for granite here. Um, uh, I don't ever remember that, but I guess you're probably right. I've always chosen that. I guess next time when it applies granite and when we're forming Nevada, we probably won't do that one. So... Yeah, sorry. Maybe I'm just an anti-communist in real life, but, uh, I, like I said in the last episode, I just don't remember. I really just have no memory of the last ones I've chosen. But you guys know better than I do, apparently, so it's totally fine. Well, there goes those guys. About one a day. It's not terrible. We can still reuse a lot more of these guys, though. Um, we still put up some millies. Yeah, we are. Not too bad. And, well, at least these are our cores now. Tended to also join the Kaisos Legion. I just don't know if ten divisions is enough here. Screw it, don't even save the uh, armor for these guys. That looks quite a bit better now, actually. Don't make any divisions yet, that's fine. Operation Babylon is nice. Uh, the common man. The NCR adopted a lot of the ideals from Old War America, including democracy and the respect for individual rights. But many lie forgotten in this society. Who could turn to us for assistance? Um, someone, actually, several people said we should accept all the ghouls and the mutants, and other people say we should reject them. I think for this one, we'll probably go ahead and just do this one. Even though we lose stability based on popularity of the Elite's faction, which we get a lower, lower, lower. Actually, get better supply consumption, but not very much. Uh, Locomation Authority, except Super Mutants, we'll probably do the same thing here, too. Probably do the same thing, so. Even though I'd like to do a common enemy, but not for this campaign. What else do we have here? Ooh, let's do this one. More daily army speed would be nice. One well, no, he's not bad. And it gives us time to take out these guys, too, which actually, we should probably go ahead and do this. Send this guy here first, just so we can lower some um, entrenchment. Uh, someone recommends we do not do military education as well as propaganda broadcasts because it'll lower our legitimacy percentage, which is probably true. Uh, we probably don't want to do that one, so. Uh, a little bit ahead of time. Let's do that one. Unfortunate news. Unfortunately, it appears some of our soldiers have taken up the practice of blasting a pre-war song on the Verita birds during routine patrols. It is not even explaining how this behavior is reckless and needlessly conspicuous. Nonetheless, our popularity must be considered in these uncertain times. Crack down. Turn it down. Ask him to turn it up. Hmm. I kind of like the extra political power. I don't know if we really need it. I'm not even using all my political power right now anyways. I'll do it. Just turn it up. And establish tributaries or civilization by force. I do kind of like that one. These Americans have fallen on hard times. It's a burden of the enclave to bring enlightenment to this forgotten land, whether they want it or not. Tributaries. We can protect tribal culture by giving them autonomy in exchange for men. Old America did this and no one complained. Uh, I mean... Giving them autonomy in exchange for men. Old America did that. I don't know. I kind of want to preserve our, a singular culture here. And enforcing them. So. I think that's probably what we'll do. But I'm tired of waiting. Let's go in. We need their factories immediately. You should be able to do this, right? Oh, they're attacking us too. Not bad. Pretty good. Get some more arm XP. That'd be very, very nice. I think someone did recommend Atomics Energy Commission, but I cannot remember exactly at the time of this recording. Uh, Vertebrate Designer, yes. Uh, yeah, we gotta go with this one. Vehicle Designers, we'll talk about that a little bit later. I'll, I'll just get that one later on. Um, actually, this would be not be bad to get right now. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, yes, max speed. And that's what we're probably just going to, to do Tolchinsky. Tolchinsky. So we can build things faster. The forgotten men and women. Although the NCR is a democracy, it's highly flawed. Brahmin barons run the northern territories like feudal holdings, crushing small farmers and factory workers. The caravans buy and sell senators for bottle caps, and ethnic tensions simmer beneath the surface. A leader who promised to restore pre-war America's ideals and rallied the forgotten people of New California could be very successful with their aid. We will remember those who have been forgotten. Increased collaboration. Nice. Alright, so up next we're going to go ahead and choose. We can choose this stuff down there. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. That'd be pretty good. Um, let's see this one. Arming Patriots Tutorial. Oh, yeah, we probably want to get that one done. We need a lot of pickle power for this one, then. So, let's do this one first. We will fan the flames of discontent within the NCR. News of corruption, outside threats, and broken promises will be spread by radio stations and spies. There could be nothing left but fear, uncertainty, and doubt. 
East Coast Exiles. To her astonishment, a group of unrecognized vertebrates have approached her location with a legitimate Enclave call sign. They're led by a lieutenant named Schultz, sporting Enclave power armor. Schultz traveled from Raven Rock facility in the Capital Wasteland, leading a Verta assault team dispatched by Colonel Autumn to salvage assets from the ashes of Navarro and the Reg. The mission was a suicide errand designed by Autumn to purge opposition from his ranks. Those that survived found us, not ruins. While well, news of the illegitimate President Eden is troubling. Most of the Enclave's vertebrates went east with Autumn's father and Schultz's tactical experience could be invaluable in integrating air power with Enclave ground forces. A surprise, but a welcome one. Nice. You could always use more of those guys. Uh, let's see. You and then you. Up on whenever you can. There you go. Great. I love it. And actually, you know what? We might try to get... Can we get actually a collaboration government in the NCR, maybe? That'd be kind of nice. We might start really using our spies here, then. We'll see. Good. Overran them. We've lost a total of 41 guys, which is way too many, but honestly, we got a lot of manpower, it feels like. I'll be honest, it really does feel like we've got plenty of manpower. Alright, energy cells. We might need that, maybe, but I'm not going to hurt our consumer goods anymore right now. Cool. Over here. We're probably... Oh, actually, defense is not bad. I do want to try the pair drop one, because I almost never do that one, but attack probably overall is really good to do. But let's save our PP for now. Fox reduction's good. Nice. Warrior code, thank you. And how many... Uh, we're out 467, which isn't terrible. Not too bad. Oh yeah, so when we do the Civil War, things will start uprising. People will start uprising, so... Civilization by force, I think that's probably pretty good to do. These Americans have fallen on hard times. It's the burden of the Enclave to bring enlightenment to the Begotten Land, whether they want it or not. I don't know, I read that earlier, but... I feel like I should read it again. Because we can. Alright, so this. Operations. Let's see. Sac City. And Shady Sandrinos. The Secret Sauce, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Very nice. Then we do the bo bottle caps. New system care package. No, not really. I don't really care about refugees. We've assimilated 7,700 of them. Which is kind of insane if you think about that. We were playing with the Enclave and we are assimilating this many people. Now 80, up to 8,500. Wow. That's a lot of guys. We can bribe these guys as well. So go down by 10. Oh. Oh, it's not just one that does it. Oh, well. How many caps do we have? Uh, minus 10 is not really that great. And we can even like, like let one go by without even having to do anything just because of the way it's set up in this in the mod, so Yeah, I don't know about that. Minus three eighty sums, not very good, man. Diplomatic training is nice. So there you go, thank you. And civilization by force will be finished soon. We'll do that that right stuff later on. Organize a sympathizer. But after we get some more research done first, of course. That's a little bit ahead of time, I don't really care. Many disillusioned citizens of the NCR have flocked to the message of the Enclave. It is time to help them turn their thoughts into actions. Our spies will contact as many sympathizers as possible and form bands of U.S. Patriots waiting patiently to use the weapons we supply them. If you want to read about this, please go right ahead. The officer deserves a raise, bring up more supplies, and keep up the sweep. We lose a thousand guns, which is fine. Arm patriots in any core NCR states. We get political power out of this too? Very good. Let's grab this one as well, and come over here first. Yes. I thought I forgot about that one, and I did. That's not very good. And the California Civil War... Uh, I can't remember how that works. Is it, like... Hey, we got those cores. That's actually really nice. Um, I don't remember how it works. Do we get the territory after the Civil War is over? I cannot remember. Hide activities. We don't have to. Hide from bonus. 50-day 50, 50 bonus. Uh, I want to see what this one does first. We don't have to do it. We don't have to do that one. So, after this one, California Civil War. I mean... Oh, we wonder about that. Please go ahead. Play Death Scream for Enclave. It's fine. We're going to go and just do California Civil War immediately next. The petition for constitutional convention to reform the NCR has reached the Senate, and they refuse to hear it. Proponents of the Enclave have taken to the streets and been fired on by the gun runners and other NCR loyalists. The Cal California Civil War has begun. Now, we won't get the one unlocked just because we can get things done. Americans enjoyed the return of the 4th of July so much that the president is thinking about restoring more holidays. One of his favorite Enclave traditions is Thanksgiving, where we can carve the roast death claw and eat sweet potato pie. We could revive this tradition for the entire country and ensure people are thankful for friends and family. The Enclave for Protecting Friends and Family, or Lolo Press from Crimson and Caravan. Friends, the Enclave, we're thankful for the Enclave, for protecting friends and familia. 66%. Not bad, pretty good I'd say. Pretty darn good. Any resistance? Not really, no. 
Even though I just don't think 10 divisions is enough for us to actually successfully pair drop onto the NCR. So, yeah. I mean, I don't want to spend the PP now. I want to get this one done first and see what happens. And just, it's always good to have the decision unlocked just in case. We need a lot more army XP for this one. I always wait to do the Department of Defense because it costs so much army XP. Arming Patriot Tutorial. Alright, Americans will always fight for freedom. We've gained the ability to arm Patriots. To do so, click on an NCR state and press the Arm Patriots button from the state menu. States that have armed Patriots will flip to our side and spawn militia units when we decide to start the Californian Uprising. Arming Patriots costs more political power each time it's used. That's why we need so much PP. Alright, let's go over here now. Can we see private leadership? Resistance contacts. Uh, no. Bribing leadership is okay. Uh, there's no, there's no created collaboration government, so that's that's okay. So we come over here, we can look at over here. Armed Patriots. Well, what's cheap? We'll probably just use Sac City immediately. There you go. Patriot Treaty. I like the other change of symbol. 25. Do that one. Do all the ones that we're boarding here. If that's the case, I'm going to focus on... Oh, we're out of PP. Eh, yeah, whatever, I don't really care. We only get two a day. Huh, wow. Uh, if that's the case, I'll probably sacrifice the entire front here. And uh, try to pair top. So these guys are going to get taken out, including Redding. Uh, we'll probably do Shady Sand still. Oh, are they still fighting these guys down here? Well, that's not bad. I did, it did help that we did give them a debuff, so. Demoralizing campaign? Nice. Oh, oh, there goes. Well, they might have just won, maybe? No? Okay. Whatever. Hide activities? I don't really care. Goes down by 10. That's not very good. Not very good at all. And we'll have the Bishop incident probably as well. Oh, it's lagging super hard, and what's happening? Well, there goes the Legion. Look. Wow. Operational security compromised. Mr. President, we're hearing disturbing reports of NCR radio chatter in reference to our facilities. We've also received one report by NCR spies stumbling into one of our conference rooms, completely unaware where exactly he was, needless to say. The NCR should have noticed something terribly wrong if we don't act now. Continue to operate as normal may have dire consequences. The time has come. See the aggressive tactics. Uh, sure. That's fine. We're not going to go anywhere. This is unusual. This is the first time I've been played... Old World Blues with like this. They take a lot of territory. Vulpus? Of course, Sons of Kaisal on the Lucius. Isn't there one more usually? The Legate? Huh. There's Vulpus over here too. Well, so much for having a strong uh, Legion. If that's the case, send us spies. Uh, we'll go to war soon. I just want to get through all these ones first. So we got that one decision unlocked. That's good. We can't do anything else here. Well, in the meantime, we're probably going to read Accept Ghouls. Contrary to popular belief, not all ghouls are feral. Many of them are just like the rest of us. People struggling to thrive in the unforgiving wastes. Some are old enough to remember when America was a country and not a wasteland. Let us reach our other hand and invite them to help us rebel what they once knew. C'est la vie. Cool. You know what? I'm going to keep arming people. Actually, can we arm people in Shady Sands? That'd be actually really funny. Um, we probably can't do that one. You can. We can do it down here anyways. Alright, that's interesting. Well, I did all these states. Let me not you. Um, I don't remember how this uprising happens. I don't think they just take over the victory points, which would be super useful. But if we ascend all 11 and 10 down there, that might be okay. So, yeah. Okay. Well, let's take... Let's have a nice little front line here. Take that one, too. There you go. Don't really care what happens with those guys. Bribe officials. That's not worth it. Organizational relations. Don't care. Procurement things. Um, we'll try it once. Why not? Bottle caps economy. 14. Not bad. Now it's going to be a little bit lower, which is fine. Doesn't really matter. California Civil War. And time for ghouls. Refugees. Now we've assimilated almost 11,000. 66% legitimacy. And grab that too, because you can. Alright, so how's our stockpile of armor? That's the biggest thing I'm worried about right now. Not really bad. We're going to grab one more. And these guys are 20 combo with, which is good to remember. So, um, uh, I think what we're going to do from here on out is that we're going to accept super mutants as well. Super mutants might once have been dangerous, but their numbers have been dwelling for decades. Plenty of them are bruised beyond reasoning, but some of them are rumored to think and feel just as a regular human being. If they're willing to join us, we can use their formidable strength to rebuild America. Cool. We're going to lose a lot more stability, but I'll see you when we're just about ready to go to war with the NCR. Ghoul marriage. Since we've decided to reorganize or recognize ghouls as U.S. citizens, 
an odd situation has come up. A wastelander from New Reno has demanded we recognize his marriage to a ghoul. Although we don't interfere with what consenting adults do in their bedrooms and really don't want to know what these two do in their, their bedroom, they have brought a challenge to the new Supreme Court to hear the constitutional challenge. Although one justice asked whether this was a priority in this grim post-nuclear wasteland, another member of the court has argued that civil rights are always important. The court has three options before it. The first is to say that we find ghoul marriage gross and we can deny rights to Americans based on our dislike so long as we aren't imprisoning or executing people. The second is to note that the 14th Amendment guarantees all U.S. citizens equal protection of the laws and rule that banning ghoul marriage violates equal protection clause. Or we can issue a rambling decision that doesn't give anyone a clear standard to follow in future cases, but let's just say love is love and get quoted at weddings. Adam and Eve and not Atom and Eve. That's kind of funny. Adopt an equal protection argument, which kind of sucks. Let's go to the decision crafted to be used at weddings. These both kind of suck. I don't. I don't like these two just because you don't get to keep these. Honestly, this one makes the most sense. But I think for right now, probably. I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. I like the war sport. I do like the war sport. Um, I'm just thinking about. We would have done this one with the more extreme authoritarian route when we played Nevada. Used at weddings. Equal protection argument, honestly, that sounds like something we could do for like different states and whatnot. So that'll be there for Nevada. Let's do this one. Let's use it at weddings. A Supreme Court Justice. Mr. President, astonishing news. A ghoul has appeared in New Reno while, who claims to be a surviving member of the Supreme Court. He says he was on a ski trip when the Great War broke out and has spent the last 200 years traveling the waste and administering justice. We were skeptical, but the calendar checks out and restoring him to the Supreme Court could be a big step towards reviving America's legal system. Hope he hires good... Lock looked. I really doubt an octogenarian judge survived nuclear war. Well, let's hope he hires some good law clerks. National Information Infrastructure. Poseidon Net, Enclave Net, the Rob Co Mail, the Hardem Information Network that survived the Great Still, Great War Still, operating the waste. Accessed by scavengers and fools. One of our scientists has studied the network in Gecko and proposed a radical plan to link all the computers together, creating a national information infrastructure. And we can listen to all of it with our enemies unaware. Listen to your words to keep you safe. I guess it has scientific applications. Nah, it's fine with us. I'd rather get that extra research slot in which we're going to choose with a fifth one. We're going to choose some refined tools. Very, very nice. And right now, at this point, we're pretty much just waiting for sending out spies to finish first. In about less than three weeks. So this way, and we just finished up except Super Mutants. So we can do up Old World Uprising as well. And there's nothing else we can do right now. So let's collect the PP right now. And... Uh, get ready. I mean, just pretty much, we're just getting ready because I, as you can see, I've already set up with the 10 divisions to invade all the main victory points that really matter, like Necropolis, Dana Point, Greater Dayglo, uh, Farmville, Baker, uh, Shady Sands, Junktown. I almost said Junktown. Oh, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Um, and Tijuana. Which, is that a court? Yeah, it is a court, so that's actually good to invade as well. So I'm literally just waiting for this to finish off so we can get some spies out there, as well as, well, we got that one to deal with as well, but whatever. Uh, the Bishop Incident. Oh, wait. oh, that happens in 30 days. Okay, so we gotta wait just a little bit longer, and that's okay. Alright, the Californian Revolution. Well, technically speaking, more of an invasion. The support we've built up with a desperate and destitute in the NCR allows us to portray the event as a popular uprising. Our signal's been sent across the nation. It's time to take up arms against the corruption of the NCR regime. Down with the bear, up with the stars. They welcome us as liberators. The time has come as well. So, they did go to war, to war, go to war with us, which is kind of interesting, because, uh... Technically, we're going to go to war with them, but we've already started launching uh, our pair drops into the nation. Hopefully, we do well. Restore Beale Air Force Base. Sure. Oh, extract spies, the Bishop Incident, further demoralization, requisition equipment. All right, that's cool. Hopefully, we do well. We got Sac City, which is super, super important, actually, to make sure that we have. Uh, we need Redding as well, which is quite unfortunate. So, we definitely got to get that one. And help us take these guys out here, too, as well. You guys want to go there and go straight up to Redding, because we need that as a victory point. And obviously we need all these guys as well, but we'll see what happens. I did deploy an extra division here as well, because we definitely, 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 definitely need it. So, Tijuana hopefully will be ours as well. Come on, please go. Oh, we need Tijuana. Tijuana, please. We need it. You come here, there, and back. You go down to here and back. You guys both actually landed quite successfully here, so you guys go there. They're very organized right there, which sucks. Oh, don't go there. Though. Oh my god, that's a lot of that's a lot of resistance. Holy cruddies. Go down there maybe. Um, Junk Town, Shady Sands, it's nice. Anywhere else? I mean, Maxon is not a core, so that's good. Sac City should be ours. Force the attack, guys. Force it. Force it. Force it. Force it. Uh, you cannot. We literally cannot 
afford to have you lose right now. So, they're literally doing force defense as well. Look at that. That's so dumb. Ah! Or maybe they're not doing it, but we can't even win. Militia sucks, man. It really does suck. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. We need those tiles right now. 100% right now. You guys hold. Let's go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. You guys are doing okay. Bone your remnants. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. And same thing for Sac City. Uh, no, you're not going there. There's no way I'm going to let you go that way. Come on. Oh, do you actually get... To, oh, oh, that sucks. Go back there. Go back, go back, go back. Chest. Ah, actually, that one doesn't really matter too much. This one's what matters. How can we not take this? No, you... Go back, you ding-dongs. Go, 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 go. Actually, further demolarization might work actually quite as well. Surrender limit goes down. Yeah, let's, oh yeah, let's do that one. That actually might just push us up. It did push us over the edge. That literally pushed us over the edge there. Whoa. This is weird that they're still here. Okay, um, can we get military access? Yeah, that'd be nice, please. Thank you very much. Um, I think I'll take all the, the land away from them. I don't think they really deserve it, I'll be honest, but that's okay. Okay, so that actually did help. Further demoralization does help quite a bit, which is super nice, actually. So you guys come over here. You guys aren't too bad. Enclave Auxiliaries, I'll be honest, you didn't see uh, the first attempt I did, did, did this. And that's why I did further demoralization, so... Yeah, you didn't see my first attempt, which is probably a good thing. I'll be honest. <laughs> guys, go on in if you can. Um, the bishop is it. We don't have to do that one now. Which is actually not too bad then. And we're not going to extract our spy spies either, so. Keep going in, keep going in. Oh, the boneyard. And we can't see this either, which really does suck, but whatever. Alright, go on and make sure they can't do anything. Go there, there, there. Keep them kind of occupied for now. Do not let them come back. The enclave. Oh, yeah, and I guess. Well, Vulpus won. And Ouroboros is attacking them. Look at that. Yeah, you didn't see my, my, my first attempt at doing this. Shady Sand Remnants. Oh, if you want to read that. It's the same thing as we saw earlier. So, welcome back. Now we're good. Cool. Not too bad. Not too bad. And complicated circuitry is very good. Yeah, it makes it so much easier when you actually just pair drop. So, I don't really care about manpower right now, as you can tell. Let's grab some encryption. Let's grab some frequency analysis. Encryption, decryption, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to keep moving around, just go there then. Come on, power armor, go, 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 go. We do not have time to waste, and it all should be 20 combat width. Well, except for two divisions here, but yeah. Um, alright. See what you can do. Oh, they've been cut off. Nice, 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 nice. There you go. Oh, come on, man. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. They still have a lot of divisions. I mean, it's mostly just holding them here. That's the main thing. You, know, you probably don't even have to really attack then. Gonna kind of hang out for now. Uh, I guess you could probably go in there too. If you really wanted to. That's fine. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. We'll take 40 cases. Yes, please. I'll not let the power armor just do what they need to do here. Good. Kill them all off. I wish this wasn't glitched. Okay. Well, whatever. Coming to San Fran. I bet the resistance here is very high. Oh my gosh, 91%. Yeah, when the NCR took these guys over, that's not very good. Get into the lands as fast as possible. Thank you, Air Force Department. The Great Race is cool. Grab some of that. Grab some of this as well. It's a little bit ahead of time, but I do not really care right now. Because we still got things to do. Um, we could force the attack. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look how weak they are. 18%? Oh, XO Divisions. That's nice. Keep going. Keep killing them. Keep killing them. Keep killing them. There is no stopping until you kill them all. Combined arms are very nice, too. Yeah, that pair drop, I should have... Honestly, I made a mistake. The main mistake I'm thinking about right now is that I should have made 10 combo with power armor, actually, instead of 20. Obviously, 20 is better than 10. But, and it's a massive but. Uh, we just need more numbers. So, the next time I... Actually, I don't know when the next time I'll actually do this. Probably when I'm playing as a Pierce again. Um, yeah, definitely go 10 combo with and just get a lot of division to pair drop. Press is right. very nice. Very nice. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing a great job. Because that should be the last thing we really need to do to capitulate them. It's by the promoted. We got San Fran. We got the two er all the areas that we needed. Oh, we need San Jose. We need San Jose. Cool. 
And there you go. That should be enough. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. Um, let's see what if we don't have these guys in here, but you know what? You know what they deserve? Besides, you know, plasma grenade or, or plasma blast? What they deserve is their own freedom. So they get to stay alive. We get to take everything, but they get to stay alive. So I think it's a fair trade. Or this is probably going to be a wasteland conquest anyways. Um, let me know. Do you think this should be a full wasteland conquest? Probably makes sense to do so, right? Rebuilding the waste. And now that's your code cracked. Cool. There you go. Nice. Oh, we could use a lot more of these. At least we've got more resources for now. So, my good lord. Wow. We're gonna power armor now. Not bad. Um. Well, then. It's not bad. Uh, new system care package? Why not? We can do that one. Anything else that lowers resistance right now or increases compliance? Probably, honestly, not really. 18,000 refugees. This one's okay. Okay, I don't care about seeing this right now. Thank you very much. Come again. Uh, organizational relations. Don't really give a crud. Nation building. Sponsor railway. This one helps us get some stuff. Re by rebuilding railways that are laying in ruins since the Great War, we can open new opportunities for economic growth. Not a bad idea. Executive orders. And I get some more army XP. And organization relations. Don't really care. Keep that one open because we might need that one. Uh, get more legitimacy. This loss does cost a lot of political power though. We do get more compliance growth, so we'll probably want to do that one. So, if you want to read about, eh, both cities are the most developed city in the Waste, and home to many of the right sort of people. We can build a center of higher learning to both educate the Wastelanders and persuade them to support the American dream, if we could only think of a mascot. Alright. Not bad. Um. I think we're supposed to get this one done, right? Sometimes passes the occupation. Okay. We're finally on the field, and we've had quite a run. Reformers get the job done. Pretty much. Pretty much. And since we're here, since we have you guys, we're going to stop lower resist. Oh my god. Yeah. The NCR, the AI just, I don't know if they really know what they're doing here. I really don't think they know what they're doing. 99%. Jesus Christ. That's insanely high. Um. I want to spread the level around a little bit more, but this is just ridiculously high. Over here, too. Umbra. Oh my gosh. Uh. You really don't want the Shady Sands to get too high as well. I go down, down here or something. Wow. That's pretty darn bad, not gonna lie. Outside volunteers, does it give you any more compliance gain? I don't think a lot of these guys give us any sort of compliance gain either. Yeah, that's not looking very good, man. Not looking very good. Field maintenance training is nice, though. We can have some of that, too, because we can. 71% stability, or legitimacy, I should really say, is not too bad. Alright, anything else? Not really, no. Mm -hmm. Production policies. Yeah, I'll, I'll do. I'll do. I'll talk. I'll probably select the, whichever one we got for after this. So, be careful what you wish for. Oh, we lose legitimacy. Crud. Oh, launch codes detected. Now that we've liberated Navarro from America's enemies, the Army Corps of Engineers is going through old records and has come across something interesting. They've managed to find launch codes for missile silos. Although most of those codes were lost during the war or after due to Voltex subversion, if we ever find missiles that weren't used, it could come in handy. Weren't the silos in southern Nevada? The silos. The signals were tracked to missile silos that survived the Great War, with bombs ready to go off. Our engineers safely deactivated the nukes, but we need to decide what to do with them. Some scientists have suggested mothballing the nukes and using the plutonium for peaceful means, but nuclear missiles could give us a powerful tool to finish liberating the United States. However, we'll have to refine the launch codes for the nukes, which records on the base suggest that they were stored at a military base in Northern California. How do we lose launch codes? Some scientists suggest we could have set off the nukes by accident if we aren't careful, but only an idiot could do that. We will not trade glory for savagery. Dismantle the nuclear weapons, for you cannot reach out to fellow Americans with nuclear arms. Um, yeah, I guess for that one it probably makes more sense for now. Even though I prefer the other one, but whatever. The destruction of the NCRs left, many, left our army overextended, with raiders and super mutants attacking outlying towns. The people of the NCR are bitterly divided between those who hope for a better future and those who fear the power armor marching through their towns. NCR loyalists have taken to the hills, sniping at men and supply convoys. Factories and caravan routes lay idle, as merchants fear whether their dollars are worth the paper they're printed out on. And California's leadership will await their fate, wondering if they can work with the United States, or they will end up their days at a camp in the Mojave. The Enclave has won, but time will tell if in destroying the NCR America has lost. Oh boy. Delete rubble templates, which makes sense. Caps, expenses, trade tariffs, trade income. Your expenses will be doubled until you solve the crisis. Oh boy. Oh well, whatever. Rebuilding a nation. We're following the field. We have quite a run. Reformers get the job done. Pretty much, yeah. 699, 277 is not too bad. Is it going to be any more affected at all? No. 
294 is actually really good, so... Yeah, I'm not really sure. After we build a nation, hearts and minds, emergency labor draft, law and order. Oh, crap, I gotta remember which one. So we probably have to go with... Actually, wasn't there... Oh, yeah. Fate of democracy and power of congress. Yeah, we'll probably have to go down this way. Yeah. 0.22 every single day. Legitimacy. I like this route. The extend president of powers is just so much fun. I love that route so much. The new order. That'd be a lot more fun to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Revive the Federal Reserve. Yeah. Yeah. Fund the EPA, which would be good to do. And which we need a certain per somebody there too. But for oh, 46% is not very good. Let's do the fate of our democracy. Some say that to truly be the U.S., we need to restore democracy and the martial law that has been in effect since 2077. But others question whether this is the best of times. The fate of our democracy. Who needed war support? Who needed stability? We don't. Of course not. Wow, we can't even build anything. Um, compliance? Actually, not as bad as I thought it would be. Approved Mentarius effects. As America awakes from its slumber and the wasteland begins to rally to our cause, a former member of the Legion has appeared in New Reno asking to join our army. He's taken the name Ulysses after a great soldier who fought to unite America under one flag, and vows that when he sets his flag down, it'll be over his body or nation he believes in. Who are you that you do not know your own history? Cool. Disorganized army, which makes sense. Military high command, loyal soldier. Which probably makes sense. We'll probably choose him. I like artillery, but we have no dynamite on our guys, so that doesn't really make any sense. And we also have, of course, except the ghouls and supermutants, the steel backbone. That's kind of cool. President and the people. Look at that. For over 200 years, the Enclave president has wielded a great amount of power within the organization, if not at all. With Congress only given an advisory role and lacking any true powers of the legislative branch, but times are changing rapidly. We're no longer a limited military organization, but a government. How will the role of the president change in the future? It'll take a strong people to bring peace to America. It'll take a strong president to bring peace to America. Yeah, autocracy. Ooh, well... Hmm. Empower Congress. Um, we get more legitimacy, which I do want to get, actually. This one would be a lot better. Yeah, let's get some more weekly stability. Law and order next. How do we rule the wasteland? Do we want to create the same system of laws that let the corrupt of pre-war America get away with heinous crimes? Or do we want to oppose the ruthless order of the Legion, making California into a desert and calling it peace? Wait, let's try that again. Um, I think I remember if I remember correctly. Military sending bonuses actually would not be bad right now. Oopsie. I don't want to invest in... Game, you just decided to do that. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Oh, Raiders, yeah. Prioritize civilian relief. The wars left many of our new citizens in dire straits. Let us prove ourselves as a benevolent government by prioritizing their needs over heavy industry. I don't care, sure. Boost the civilian economy. By turning military workshops into civilian use, we can turn, if not swords into plowshares, then laser guns into mining equipment. Get more stability, I guess. Get some more civvies. Okay, sure, why not? Rebuild infrastructure. Gain 1% of legitimacy for every two levels of infrastructure built during the decision. Which wouldn't be bad, but I don't save that for when we have a really big industry so we get a lot of legitimacy, but freedom of speech. There have been some upsides to the fall of the NCR. By its final hours, the nation was run by an oligarchic alliance between Brahmin barons and the caravan companies who turned the NCR's democracy into a joke. They managed to suppress dissent and much of the NCR by buying up or otherwise dealing with hostile reporters and pushed the NCR Senate to pass legislation clamping down on what could and couldn't be published. The fall of the NCR has given writers room to breathe, while the American promise is to many a breath of fresh air. For all the chaos, there is a feeling in the air, a whisper of old world blues and new world hopes. Time will tell whether this will turn into an American spring or a nuclear winter. Wait, what are they writing about us? Which we get to more daily people support, the free press will be watching your actions closely. I don't like the free press. The end of the reformers. With the Enclave's rule expanding across Nevada, and the destruction of the diehard purists, Granite's become a president in fact as well as name. Granite supporters no longer call themselves reformers, for they are no longer just Enclave scientists and officers, but include Brahmin barons, casino owners, caravanners, salvagers, vault dwellers, and even a few couriers. This is a problem. All these people have different dreams and visions for America. Granite can keep them united for now by saying his priorities is reconstruction, but this will not last forever. And if Granite stands for nothing, then what will he fall for? Democracy seems a lot messier than the old book said. A world of tyranny and serfdom. Well, the liberation of California, America's cause, seems brighter than it has in 200 years. But there are those who are um, to the belief that all men are created equal. Volpus's Legion and the Brotherhood, guided by unholy contempt for the human race, have formed an alliance against us. They know that if left unchecked, the reunited states will save this country. And they've so they've asked for war. And they're going to get it. The enemies of America have begun to gather against you. They are prepared to solidify their alliance and move upon you. That's not good. Uh, but a new VP. As part of Reconstruction. Grant has decided to appoint a vice president, a power reserved to the president pursuant to the 44th Amendment to help manage the nation's divisions. 
Lynette would help reach an accommodation with the Citizens League and promote their dream of a managed democracy where there's a place for everyone so long as they're in their place. Congress says Hayes would represent an accommodation with the New World Party, a promise that the United States will continue to stumble towards greater equality and freedom for all Americans. But in his darkest moments, granite wonders of Americans are ready for democracy. Perhaps the president should continue to manage the nation with a firm partner at his side? Sergeant Dorn has been invaluable since the fall of Navarro, and nobody would dare challenge his orders. I will not make this decision lightly. Well... One of us does. Um, Dornan. Hayes. We'll probably won't do Hayes. Let's be real. Wastelanders. We'll probably go Wastelanders now. Raiders. That kind of sucks. Uh, let's see. There's another spirit. Underfunded justice system and anarchy. End of the reformers. Anarchy, which really sucks. And collapse government. And resistance. Ghoul marriage. Yeah. A lot of this kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Loyal officers. Um. Oh, here's this. Swords to plowshares. It's not too bad, but it doesn't really help anybody right now for, with anything, so. Uh, I kind of don't mind getting this guy, though. Collapse economy. Fate of our democracy. Oh, I don't like this one. Uh, oh, get it anyways. Why not? So then we'll do law and order. We'll probably empower Congress, get to free elections, remove unstable government, and get indefinite martial law as well. Oh, no, no. The FBI. Yeah. We gotta get both, so it doesn't even matter. We gotta get both anyway, so. Demand tribute. Who the fiends? You want you want you want to raid us? You really want to raid us? We're gonna actually oh man, we're really gonna need a lot more power armor divisions to help hold the line against these guys. That's not gonna be good, and we're out of manpower as well, which is not very good either. We can build infrastructure, but we're gonna wait for that one. Ban free press. That seems actually like a lot more fun, and we get a lot more stability with the disloyal opposition. One of the greatest surprises of the past few years is that Grant C. Hayes, Enclave Loyals, and Daglo Mayor has begun fighting with the President Granite. Hayes was raised by the Enclave's elite, but somehow the subjugation of California's radicalized the American patriot. Hayes has spoken out in support of Ghoul's rights, greater aid for impoverished wastelanders, and even of the need to respect the tribals. This morning, Hayes took to NCR Radio, or NCR, or New California Public Radio, to announce the formation of a new political party, the New World Party, and that he'll push for greater rights for all Americans. He's also rejected the crisp military attire of the Enclave's elite for a casual alternative attire New California is known for. Hayes stands as a hair of the best of New California and New America. He and he has some thoughts on its indefinite military rule. This isn't supposed to how democracy was supposed to go. The national anthem. The United States must choose a national anthem. Some say we should stick with the Star Spangled Banner or perhaps the Battlecry of Freedom. But the Secret Service spies in the Boner found a holodisc at a pre war bar called the Eagle by a singer named RuPaul. Her song American is hit with the troops, for she is the stars and stripes flying high, red, white, and blue. She is me and you. She's American through and through. Star Spangled Banner yet waves. We rally once again, shouting the Battlecry of Freedom. The Enclave can learn from RuPaul. Um, Battle Cry of Freedom. That sounds more like a Union song, and by Union, I'm thinking that's more like Nevada, though. Um, that's weird if they learn from RuPaul. This one seems like more of the authoritarian one that we want to say. I love the Battle Cry of Freedom, it's so good. RuPaul. Fan Free Press, nope. Raiders, yeah, we'll get hit once. It's fine, whatever. And Battle Caps, we want to make sure we get more of that stuff, too. Honestly, compliance is not too bad still. It's Shady Sands is what? Defensive online, very good. We have something else here. We can't do anything else because we don't have enough money. Oh, we don't have enough manpower to do all that other stuff. The fate of our democracy. New arena prospers under our rule, but we must decide how to govern the United States. Douglas's rule has been successful and he's brought us back from the brink. The nation has been under martial law since the war, and he could cement his power, and frankly, better than we could hope. Rule. Or we could aim to restore the U.S., risk losing uh, control of the enclave in elections and giving power to the natives. I want to do that one so badly, man, but it's time for elections. New Congress. Although Grant has decided to restore democracy, uh, there are still many who express concern about giving everyone a say in the government. After all, look at the morass the NCR was. While city's mayor has suggested suffrage be granted only to Americans who can pass something like their old citizenship test, or those with a clean genetic history. These wise citizens would select representatives who advise the president. Alternatively, we could adopt the old view of every man a vote. What part of democracy are you not getting? If you want to read about this, please go ahead, because we got that one already. And the Voting Rights Act. Congress will do us a little good if we don't safeguard the electoral process. Let's make sure that every citizen's voices are heard by barring any attempts to manipulate or pressure their vote. Get more legitimacy, democracy, oligarchy, um, and get more political power, unstable government, so that'd be really good to get rid of all that stuff. Just super, 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 super important. Hey, we actually have a little bit of manpower too. Look at that. Government central schools. Oh, cool. Unobstructed filing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, really, it's not too bad taking out the NCR as long as you can pair drop and you get those few victory points that you really, really, really need. We need more cities twice in two lifetimes, that's fine. 
Anything else down here? Nope. Oh, God, I want to ban the free press. I just want to ban them. Come on, guys. We're ready for your raid. Well, kind of ready for your raids. Oh. Look at that. Army ghouls. Very nice. If you train guard head, Nukalem. Before the Great War, the new Reno was home to a park full of rising games called Nukalem. Although not as impressive as its East Coast counterpart, we could revive it as a symbol of the promise of the better times to come. And we can also test some experience in the park goers. Unless a theme park changed Death Claws Pass, it's better than the plan to poison the world's water supply. Oh, yeah, who cares about all that other stuff? Yeah. Nuka roll, please. And we'll end with one more focus. We'll probably do the Voting Rights Act. But Champions of Virtue, and we're done with the Land Auction. Go figure. There you go. Voting Rights Act. Uh, I think I already read this one, so we can read that one again if you really want to. I just want to see if there's any other event down here after this one, so. Rapid prototyping is good. Grab this one as well. And. Get some radar, because we can. That'd be nice, right? So we'll do that one. The Rule of Law. Uh, I think this will probably bypass anyways, but let every American, every lover of liberty, swear by the blood of the revolution never to violate the laws of the country, and never to tolerate their violation by others. As the Patriots of 76 did to do to the support of the Declaration of Independence, so to the support of the Constitution and laws that every American pledges life, his property, and his sacred honor, Abraham Lincoln, law and order, since the NCR's collapse, and the New California region has been rocked with banditry, corruption, and brutality. The NCR's ramshackle bureaucracy already overstretched has all but collapsed despite the Enclave Reconstruction Authority efforts to keep it in place. Gangs and parents rule as they plead, and to get the state up and running again will require substantial effort. Some idealists in the NCR believe we need to restore our faith in the impartial judiciary, a law that protects the salvager and the Brahmin Baron alike. Others think we should work with the New California's elite and crush dissent quickly and efficiently. After all, a strict constitutional scholar might question how Granite even became president. Lawyers won't stop the Legion. I'd love to do that. To the Republic, a government of laws and not of men. And that's all completed. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this one, because we can. We're going to go ahead and select the Voting Rights Act. And uh, a couple of other comments too, but we'll revive the judiciary next. No man is above the law and no man is below it, nor do we ask any man's permission when we ask him to obey it. Obedience to the law is demanded as a right, not asked as a favor, which looks pretty good. Other comments include, um, can we do a Democratic Arizona run? I think that's a Volp the Legion one. I think, I'm not exactly sure. Democratic Arizona, is that the Legion? Um, let's see. What version of Old World Blues are we on? We're on the most updated version at the time of this recording, which is not Legacy. We are not using Legacy for this run. And someone also asked, can we sway political advisors? I don't think so. We can just hire political advisors. Like, as you can see over here, cultural advisors, political advisors. But other than that, I've got to end the episode here. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow when we will try to make sure not too many people are pissed off at us. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.